Hello Stratters, welcome back. Uh, I'm Binkeby and this will be the semi-final, or rather one of the two semi-finals for our Legacy Tournament. We have Bog Stifle Knot again against um, uh, Painter. Let's see where I have my papers. Yeah, there we go. And the second semi-final is between Storm and uh, uh, what did he play? I have the deck lists ready to go somewhere. No, not that one. Well, I'm gonna look that up uh, as soon as I can and we will see what it is. <coughs> but for this match, we have, as I said, Stifle North versus Painter. Turn 1 Delver is a pretty good start, as usual. Uh, it's good with the clock. At least I think you have it. And Plateau is a pretty poor start. It looks to be... It looks to be Storm against a pretty sweet Grixis list, actually. Uh, so we'll see if uh, if uh, Storm can beat that or if we get to see it. So we have a Delver, but uh, it's gonna get pyroblasted just um, after the plateau hits the graveyard. <coughs> so this is kind of an interesting match because uh, if Blood Moon resolves the game basically ends. <laughs> Just like that. Tor confident. Alright. That is uh, that is interesting. It could be it could be a good way to win the game and it could be a liability depending on what the painter can muster up here. I mean it's not uh, it's not uh, impossible for something like a blood moon to happen here. Enlightened Tutor could get Painter... could get... yeah, it's gonna get Painter. So we could go for a rapid combo as well. It could easily be set up to... Uh, to go off, not this turn, but the next. I think I saw an Ensnaring Bridge as well, and that's a good card. Seed of Traitors, Painter. Looks like it will resolve. Maybe. We are thinking about it. Yeah, when you're thinking this long, you at least have some kind of answer. I think I saw a Disfigure as well. And Disfigure cannot take care of a uh, Painter. Yeah, this looks like a hard decision. If you don't have another answer to it, I'm pretty sure you have to let it resolve. It looks like it has resolved. Interesting. <sighs> Stifle should buy a turn. I'd say it's pretty obvious that we have uh, a Pyroblast lurking somewhere. Or at least uh, the grindstone. Yeah, we do have a blast as well. So let's see what what we can do here. It's not impossible to win this turn, but. That requires another soul land. Uh, if we imagine a fight is gonna happen here. I think if the bog player has a 
force of will uh, which I think I saw yeah this would be the time to use it because letting uh, grand clock resolve without uh, or uh, uh, grand clock yeah that's not really the same yeah we're gonna have a force of will and they assume a fight with the pyroblast it's just so hard to remove once in play it's look, it looks like it will actually hit the bin yeah it's gonna it's gonna go to the graveyard I really did expect a fight here Ah, oh, we're gonna ca ca cast a welder well that would have been a good plan but the disfigure will put a wrench into that one uh, so that is not good and now the dark confident will start running away with the game but still you could s you could do the exact same thing next turn playing a uh, playing a uh, millstone and uh, did I say millstone now? This is this is getting tough. Either way, you could easily go off next turn. You still have the blast in hand, and uh, the bug player will run out of uh, will run out of counter spells sooner or later. But I'm not certain. I think I would have fought for the for the grind grindstone actually I mean yes there could be an abrupt decay but that's gonna be a problem no matter what the threat will come in Painter will at least keep um, keep the attackers at bay for a while. Well, maybe not that attacker. This is good because now the bug player is hellbent, so any decisions will be a lot easier here. Blood Moon. If if the painter player has another land in hand, I would probably slam Blood Moon here because that shuts off everything despite taking a huge blow but if you don't have another land I'd probably go for the ensnaring bridge since that shuts off uh, the offense completely and well it gives the play the bug player two draws to find abrupt the case specifically but I think you have to uh, I think you have to uh, gamble on that but it is uh, a big decision here the abrupt the case will be overloaded anyway so could be right to do that but if you play in snaring bridge this turn and uh, get it decayed then blood moon won't do anything So we're gonna have a little count here. How much damage uh, are you expected to take? I think we have an Imperial Recruiter in hand as well. But that can't be correct to play. Yeah, the bridge will come down. So let's see, do we find an abrupt decay and end the match or or the game rather? No, that's an underground C, but another dreadnought. Well now this will be tough. <coughs> Cause now the Death Ray Chairman can do his thing once. But then Blood Moon will just come down and that will just basically end end the game. If you had two death right shamans, then maybe you could do something, but one death right shaman is not enough. You can play brainstorms and stuff, but 
not much, not much past that. Are we gonna see grindstone right away? Do we have another land then? Are we gonna take the safe route and uh, keep the blast up? So the way this backfires is still abrupt decay. This is not really the card you're looking for. And I think a force. So yeah, this should be game. At least if Painter goes for it, but I can't imagine not doing so. Because if there are an abrupt decay, I'm pretty sure it will go for the bridge. Grandstone and concession. All right. Okay, time for the second game here between Bug Stifle North and Painter. Let's see if we can get a game on faster from the Stifle side and uh, maybe disrupt the Painter plan a bit better and take a game. We will see. Turn 1 Delver is definitely. Um, a thing. So an ancient tomb. Uh, not certain what else, but at least ancient tomb. Could be two ancient tombs. Ancient tomb painter is the opener here. And we're gonna see a daze. That's not good. And no spirit guide to trade for that. <laughs> and flipping on this is not great because you need to to show that you have it, but I think it's correct. And uh, the first days came at no cost because it looks like the bug player does not have any other land. So it was virtually free. Yeah, it's not good to go into days, but uh, I don't think it's correct to play around play around it either. It depends on the hand, I guess. So let's see what the follow-up will be here. Mountain. And I'm in a Blood Moon here and the game could end again. No? Nothing! <sighs> that better mean um, a Blast on the Delver or something? No? No, nothing at all. That is not great. Let's hope that this draw step improved it in some way. When when the painter player has nothing out and passes on three mana, that's not good. I guess it could be that you are playing around the days. But I do believe the Lotus Petal was in hand last turn, so well, this power class will be hard to daze. So it will be forced pitching days. It smells to me like this is some kind of a bait. But we will see. We have a third daze in hand, two abrupt decays and a null road I think. Null road will be good because it can go, go through the blood moon. Another painter, that one will resolve. So let's see if we can draw a green source here to get the abrupt case going. Otherwise, we could be looking at a game next turn if we have a grindstone. Ah, oh, Jesus. This coal is killing me. In comes the insectile aberration. Great. We have a wasteland. And that will be enough to cast the new lord. That's not a huge problem for the painter deck because once they lock you out completely, they just need to find a blast and destroy it. 
If you do have a red blast here, I think it's correct to just wait. There is no need to do it end of turn. So there's still another ancient tomb in hand. What else? A blast? Do you have enough mana to win through days? Yeah, definitely. Blossom in the Delver. Okay, that that screams to me that uh, the Painter Hand is pretty weak. I mean, it could still have something like a Blood Moon, but you'd probably play the Blood Moon first to see if there is any response. If there are not, then the only card you have to worry about is uh, Force of Will. So I think we picked up a Stifle here. That doesn't do very much. We're gonna see the wasteland here. Hmm. I'm not. Uh, I'm not certain about that. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much to have that colorless, but it, it could do. If the next row is uh, for extend red knot, for example, it certainly would. In comes the painter. Looks like we are a bit flooded on the painter side. Not certain what he has in hand, but it looks like a set of traitors and something else. Brainstorm, great draw here. There's an underground sea, a ponder, and... What's the last card in the middle? It's a polluted delta, that's like exactly what we're looking for here. You could probably keep all those cards, actually. So this turn you could just play Underground Sea, keep Stifle up, keep Days up. Days is looking a bit bad though. Maybe you just put Days on second on the top and uh, yeah, it looks like what we're gonna do. And then redraw the Delta I suppose is on top. And then you have Double Abrupt Decay, Stifle and Ponder left. Which seems to be more than enough to beat Monolands over at our right side. Yeah, it's probably correct to play the Ponder here. Could be correct to fetch first, but... Well, now we can just draw the Brainstorm. I don't think you want Dace against uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana over there. Very unlikely that you get to hit anything. Now since we do have Abrupt Decay ready, Blood Moon is not great, uh, the Grindstone is not great. Yeah, Abrupt Decay now. I kind of like that because uh, the Painter Prey isn't doing anything and <coughs> the only thing he could really have is blasts, I guess, and abrupt decay does not care about that. And you're a bit tight on mana, so you wanna, you do wanna use it. That looks like a death right shaman. Another great draw. Blood moon is no longer good because we have another abrupt decay. Yeah, we haven't drawn many ver very many spells <laughs> from the Painter's Adders and Arid Mesa, so that means that there's still at least one land in hand. Another Deathrite Shaman? Mm, then this game is probably over. Go to 5. Go to 1. Yeah, so Painter has this turn and the next. But then he can't use Ancient Tomb or Arid Mesa. And he has to fight through Stifle, Brainstorm. Uh, well, Brainstorm doesn't really do anything, but Stifle and Abrupt Decay. And he did nothing on this turn. Hmm. 
and there is still Seed of Traitors in hand. I think we picked up a wasteland, it looks like. We got a pass and concession. Yeah, there is a concession. Alright. Alright, time for game three and the decisive game. Let's see if Stifle North or Painter will be joining us for the finals. Once again, like the worst start ever for the Painter player, but we will see. Looks like we have something here at least. We're gonna stifle that, interesting. I wonder if Rasmus cares or if he's gonna try to fight. Looks like we do pick a fight here. I wonder if, if he has Spirit Guide Blast, do you play it and bait out like a Force of Will? Because you you get just devastated by, by a daze here. Or do you let it happen? It looks like we have a Blast. And it looks like no days. We're gonna have a for Force of Will here. Uh, it's interesting if this was a bait or not. You do you do go down a card, but if you don't have lands in hand, you might be forced to do it. But I can see a city at least. I'm not certain what this tells us more that that maybe the painter player has few lands, or that the stifle not player has like tons of answers or uh, uh, or, or really needs to pick a fight now because the hand is weak it could mean a lot of things <sighs> looks like we will get to see a revoker that will resolve a named deathrite shaman so if a blood moon resolves now there is no way the bug player can do anything so we have Ponder, Land, Wasteland, and Brainstorm, I think. It's not fun to Wasteland a Seed of Traitors because it will go away anyway, but I think you have to do it in this, in this instance. Well, there's a Force of Will, so maybe you don't have to. And a Maelstrom Pulse. We do have more blue cards. So it could be correct to draw either Stifle or Force of Will, uh, let stuff happen, and then uh, have it up next turn. And if that's the plan, then Waste Landing here is probably fine. And I guess if you really need to, you could uh, force with uh, the Brainstorm, but it feels like the Brainstorm will have to do some digging. We do have a Blood Moon over at the Painter Hand. We do get to see some bashing as well. And a Painter. Okay, so that probably means that there is no more lands uh, in the Painter Hand besides <coughs> the second city. And that's why we see the Furnace coming down this turn. Yeah, there's the Brainstorm. We do know there's a Maelstrom Pulse. It looks like... I can't see it out of the cards. <coughs> looks like we're putting <coughs> Pulse on the land back, so maybe we don't have a fetch land here. <coughs> Actually, we do not. We have a Frex and Dreadnought that would love to come in next turn, but if this um, if this requires a Force of Will, then that won't be possible. And I think we will see the Force on the Blood Moon. Otherwise, the game is over. Yeah. 
you you have to force there because otherwise you you're just dead. So on top we have a we have a land and in hand we do have a treadnought. So it's not looking good for um, for the dreadnought player. So let's see if Painter has something to to conjure up here. I mean the revoker damage is stacking up pretty fast too, so that's not something you can just let go unnoticed forever. You have to attend to it at some point. And we do see a painter that will add to the fierce beat down here. Oh no, do we see another painter? Oh, <laughs> so that's the. I, I don't like that play. I mean, it's not likely that your opponent has Maelstrom Pulse, but. Uh, <laughs> One turn, more or less, with the damage uh, is pretty unrelevant for the Painter deck because that's probably not how you're gonna win anyway. And there is an abrupt decay, so Painter is hellbent and uh, the Dreadnought player is almost hellbent. So decay will take out that, and we, I think we saw yeah mountains. So we have two dead hands, and we draw land. And we draw land and wasteland. That actually does something if you want to use it. And that I think it was an ensnaring bridge. Could be correct to cast it here just to get something out of your opponent's hand, but he's gonna elect not to do so. Another land. Lands are good, but not in this quantity. Still not seeing any lands being played. What does painted draw? Is it another land? Yep. And we're pondering about casting the stern bridge, but elects not to do so. Yet another land for the Stifle North player. Now we do see the wasteland though. And I think now is basically the last turn you will be you will have a good time to play it. Another land. Do we have something? Looks like the bridge. Nope, the blood moon. And that will resolve. So that's probably not good. Another land. So the Stifle Not player will look through his sideboard to see if he brought in uh, a specific card, but if he did not, then the game will be over. Yep, Torpor is in the sideboard, and that will prompt a concession. So, Painter to the finals! Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook, slash magic gathering strat or on the web magic gathering strat.com there you can find articles and free prize supported leagues this is all brought to you by our patreons and cardhoarder.com if you enjoy this content please consider supporting us at patreon.com slash magic gathering strat